Hi beauties and curls, we are back with another video and today we are talking about styling gels. A little bit about my hair, I know you can't see me, but hello. Um, I have high porosity, fine thin hair, so my ideal gel would be lightweight. I do have an idea that I want to come with about my stylers and about consistencies but I'll wait for that video and I'm sure you guys are going to love it but today we are going to declutter some gels now I'm going to declutter them but just know that you probably you may see them in a video these are going to be ones that after I do the video I am I will be decluttering but I wanted to get go ahead and get this out of the way because it did not dawn on me until I was doing this declutter already and we are into day five of days of declutter so we have yeah this is day five I think it might be no today was day five okay this is day six day six we have one more which is creamy stylers which is gonna follow this video so stay tuned but anyway make sure you check out the other days of declutter right over there in the iCards if you can see it and yeah, let's just jump right into this video. Um, I'm not going to declutter this because this is one of my favorite gels, but this is the Aloe Vera Styling Gel. Don't make fun of the title. Super wet. Okay. It is a, it's actually a Spanish brand, I think. Um, the, the, oh, superwet.com. I don't know if you can see that. If you want to check it out, I they are on Amazon as well, but superwet.com.mx. But this is one of my favorite. I got turned on to this gel by Curly Kimmy Star here on YouTube. And I have loved this ever since. It is a weighty gel. This is like glue, but it is amazing. It is glycerin free and my hair loves it. So although it's a heavy weight gel, it's something that makes my hair last super duper long. So yeah, the next gel. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed this, but right slab dab in the middle. These are my drugstore gels and these are my bougie high end gels. And um, there is a difference. Yes. I would prefer my bougie gels over my drugstore. The drugstore are good, but the bougie gels, it just does something better. Let me know if you want to know a video about that. So the next one we're going to talk about is this Camille Rose. This is the Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. I have no idea because I haven't used this gel. It's even, the seal is still on it. So of course I want to review this. So we're going to put this over to the side. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I have this kind of thing where I want to use things that are already opened before I review something. And that's just not going to happen. I'm just going to have to review it. And if I like it, pass it on. If I, uh, if I don't like it, I'll pass it on. If I like it, I'll keep it. This high porosity. Okay, so this one was okay. And you know my philosophy is first expired, then do I like it? Or do I love it? And this was a like, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. So I'm going to put it over here. So my declutters are on this side and my, I know I have a hair tie on. I need to take that off. But what's important about an alcohol-free, this L'Oreal Everstyle Alcohol-Free Curl Defying Gel, you want an alcohol-free because you don't want it drying out your hair. Like if you have isopropyl alcohol, that is a no-no for a gel. It will dry the mess out of your hair. So if you see a gel or any leave-in product for that matter, if it has isopropyl alcohol, get rid of it. I mean, that's just my opinion, okay? But as you can tell, it has a $1.99 value. I got this from the 99 cent store. I like this, but it was okay. I am gonna pass this along. If you are low porosity or if your hair loves glycerin, your hair will pro your you're gonna like this gel. I, this was a good quality gel actually from the drugstore for two dollars. What? It that that's pretty cool. And L'Oreal, 
yes. And I feel like, you know, it's in a professional uh, container. I felt like, you know what, I did good. I, I think I talked about this before. If I didn't, um, I don't know. I didn't come back with a haul report on this. But this was in my Dollar Tree my Dollar Tree, I think, haul. I do have some more styling products in my deep conditioners that I talked about. But yeah, I'm going to pass this along just because it contains glycerin. And we know glycerin is a devil. And let me just say, the Alakay Naturals Creme Brulee Curl Delight was amazing. Now, I don't know if they've changed their formula, but I am going to try this again. Now, let me tell you something. I know I talked about my natural hair disaster was the wash and go. But I did have a method to my madness in terms of the wash and go. I would keep my wash and go for maybe about one or two days when it's flat. And then I would take it and turn it into a... I would turn it into a twist out, which I might end up doing. I might try doing that again. Um, not sure if I'm going to do that in the winter months now that I have my kind of like routine with my head wrap. But I want to keep this gel around. I'm not going to keep too many gels around. Just I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, I really did like this gel. So we're going to keep I'm it. not done a review on this. This is the As I Am Smoothing Gel. And... I want to try this for my edges. I know a couple of girls use this on their edges and it, it lays it down. It's a smoothing gel. Let's see how it works in comparison to the, what is it, the Control Paste by Curls. Maybe we'll do a battle of the snatched edges. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're going to keep that one. Okay, Eco Styler Caster Seed Oil. This one is amazing. I would say out of all of the Eco Styler gels, it would be the olive oil and this one that I would suggest or prefer. We're going to keep this one, but we're going to declutter this one. I did do a battle of these two gels. I will link it in this video, but this is the Eco Styler Coconut. I really do like this. Wait a minute. Is this a new one? If this is a new one, it, no, it can't be. Is it a new one? No. But this one is a really great one. I think I'm going to pass it on to one of my sisters. They will love this. They will love this. This one is really good for edges too. So I'm going to pass that one along. Moving on to my bougie stylist. This one is uh, my favorite of all time. This is the most multitasking product. Can you tell? Because it has a no label. Yes, this is my Kamaza Care Califia Styling Pudding. This is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it above any other gel if you want to do a twist out, if you want to do a wash and go. This is what you want. I did do a game changer video and it was in here. Let me tell you, let me show you, let me show you. Y'all, it has caramel in it, but it is amazing. And um, this is not, I'm going to use all this. I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to use the rest of this on my twist outs, makes it super, is amazing for edges. I'm telling you, it's a multi multitasker. So I'm going to keep this and I'm going to use this up. It is in a project pan for natural hair. Um, I think I'm going to come back with that video because I think I overwhelmed myself. I don't know what I was thinking. I just need to put a styler, a leave-in conditioner, a shampoo. Yeah, I should have just done a whole system and done a rolling project pan for natural hair for that. But this is going to be the number one thing that I need to get oh, get rid of right away. Okay, so let's talk about things that I have done a review on. The Hair Perfection is my all-time favorite wash and go. This turns, this is the best like gel. I had the best gel days, of like wash and go days with this. If you want a tried and true non-glycerin, and let me not even get into the non-glycerin glycerin because glycerin, that's a whole nother video, but this is my favorite. Maybe I'll do it after, right after this video because I am decluttering some. So stay tuned for that. I'm just saying. You're not going to see my veins, but I'll talk about glycerin, my favorite non-glycerin gels. How about that? Okay, so this is a non-glycerin gel. It is my favorite of all time. This is a brand new one, and I love it. I do, I have an old video on that, but yeah. Another one that I love, this is the Coconut 
hair pudding by Kamaza Care. This is my second favorite, but I will say if you have fine thin hair, this one is going to be, if you're high porosity, this one is going to be your best bet just because it's a little bit lighter than the Califia styling pudding, but I really do like this and I need to get through this too because I need to, I, I want to be able to get some more items from the Black Friday sale and let me know if you guys want a Black Friday sale wish list when it comes to hair care but I love this and I will be using this until the wheels fall off so the next one is my Hello Curly this I had a love-hate relationship with it was really weird because it is it does not have a strong hold like my hair perfection so what I think I'm going to do is I know a lot of girls that have thick hair love this one so I think I'm going to give this to my sister um just because I think she would enjoy it and I want to I have I still have the uncle funky's daughter which is by the same brand uh, the brand that um I got this from had a lot of great brands on their Instagram if I can remember I'll put it down below but this I cannot wait I want to say this is another one that is glycerin free and I'm really excited about that so yeah I will go over a list of all the glycerin free gels I have not discussed all of them in here but that is one of them and this is the diva curl light defining gel now I've tried the other one and it was no bueno para me. I really like the gel, but it had glycerin, and this is the light version of it. This one would be more ideal for your fine hair, thin girls, fine, thin hair girls, and the third ingredient is glycerin. This one also has hydrolyte, hydrolyzed wheat protein in it. It has corn protein, soy protein. This one is going to be ideal for that fine, thin hair, and um, yeah, we'll we'll go over some recommendations. But yeah, um, this one, the third ingredient is glycerin. I am thinking that my hair is not going to like it, but we can still test it. I have no problem with testing with you guys. And maybe I will come with a glycerin. I have an idea. I'm not going to even tell y'all. But I'm not going to even tell y'all, but I have an idea. But this is the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. I, they have another one, but I, I recommend this one for fine, thin hair, high porosity. If your hair likes glycerin okay so all in all I am only decluttering one two three four only decluttering these four and I'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve gels uh, we need to make another cut these are all the ones that I am keeping and I have some others that I am declaring. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to declutter. Let me declutter. I need to declutter some more. Okay, let's go. I haven't tried this one. Need to test this one. Test that one. I love this one. Need to test this one. Love this. This too expensive. To, that's expensive. Do I want this or this? Creme brulee. Hmm. This one was really good though. Keeping it. Um yeah, I'm pretty much keeping all these. Yep. Yep. Keeping it. These two. We're gonna get better homes. Okay. the gels that I'm getting rid of and these are the ones over here that we are keeping right over there yeah so that is it for our styling that boy that that was hard thank you so much for watching look for another video for glycerin free gels I know I have been getting that request so I'm definitely after this video Look for that one after the days of declutter. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, loveys.